Hello, haven't done this in a while, thought I'd make a quick video, I'll stitch it together somehow. I'm back in the garden, two days off, it's lovely. Two days off, so I'm going to be spending it in the garden. It rained a little bit last, well this morning, and I got quite excited thinking, oh rain! And I got it and <laughs> started raking the ground and it's just bone dry underneath. Never mind, I'm going to keep on raking. So I'm going to turn this from front view to back view. I don't know how I can do that in the middle of something. Let's try it this way. Try that. Anyway, so I am going to be today um, raking the ground and getting some grass seed in. Oh, can't happen soon enough. I have so much to do. I'm very excited about it, but I'm going to get on with it right now. So here's what I'm going to do this morning. Hopefully within a couple of hours, I've got this space here. It's about... Um, 10, 20, 30, it's about 35 metres long by about 2, 3, 4, 5 metres wide and it looks quite flat doesn't it but actually it's really lumpy and bumpy and it is full of stones so I'm going to get this raked out and then seeded and under the tree all this little dots here it's just full of acorns not much I can do about that just rake them up in a pile so here goes I'm going to get on with some raking and seeding and hopefully we'll have some more rain again soon because I don't think it's quite right to be watering a lawn but if I have to, I have to. But let's hope for some rain. Here I go. Hello, day two of finishing what looks like a small patch of soil well, yesterday I started off quite early and the heat defeated me. So you have to rake and rake and rake and rake. Pull out roots, pull out stones, pile up stones, pull back stones. It's one hell of an ab workout. It's one hell of a forearm and upper arm workout. I'm bush today. We are trying to get this finished because it's getting hotter and hotter today. As the weather said today, it's uh, hot and sunny and the temperature will climb. Yesterday afternoon in this garden it was in the 30s and in the 30s you do not want to be uh, scraping away at soil. So I'm just going to wait for this cow to go by and then I'll show you what we did yesterday. So yesterday it was all raked, Mike is helping me finish it today. I'm going to spin round so you can see the whole area that Mike did yesterday. So let me spin right round and right behind me and in there he scraped and seeded about half an acre in there yesterday. There it is, all done. So scrape, seeded, pull out stones. I'm going to turn it around now, and so we can see the camera the other way. Do that. So I'm going to show you what I've done. So I'm going to spin it round again, because this camera doesn't seem to allow me to change it from looking at me to looking away from me whilst I'm filming. So panning away shots and then I will cut it in. So here we go, here is the site. All seeded, all raked, all the stones all pulled out. So, excuse the shadows. There is Mike pulling up all the weeds. And when I say to people we have a stony garden, stones, I mean stones, rocks, rocks garden. Let's take you over here to show you how this actually used to be the actual quarry. So you can see this here, these big squares of stone. This would have once upon a time been a huge round well wrap boulder, just like I have in my gardens. And then you can see here the evidence of drilling. Now if you've ever watched Little House on the Prairie, do you remember when Mr Ingalls crops failed and he had to go off to work in a quarry and he had to become part of a double jack team? So two men would hold it and turn it, hold it and turn it, and another guy would strike it. Well, in later years, that would have been big air compressors to drill it. So I have no idea when people started having air compressors. My uh, knowledge of industrial history and machinery is not great. So you can see these, they look like big squares. So this was the quarry until 1960s. So here's everything that we've seeded. And it looks like nothing much at all. But, and do you know what? You're supposed to seed a lawn or put your grass seed down in September and it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter 
I think it's a log pile at the moment. This is quite monumental. Excuse me, I'm not using a gimbal at the moment to film this, so it's a bit wobbly wonky. So I do apologise. Do my best to hold it as still as possible. All of this, all of these trees, this mountainous pile here, and let's put my uh, on this pile goes. Put my foot there for perspective. Goes on and all of these trees were on the ground. So all of these trees have been shoved here by Mr. JCB when he was here. All there. So let's turn it round over there big long patch that once upon a time was all full of fallen trees and broken trees. Let's take you over here. Sorry about this, no gimbal, so it's a bit wobbly wonky. Derelict barn, still waiting for planning permission of what we can and can't do with it. We are going to make a bungalow barn, so this at the moment is a double, let's go in and show you how high it is. This at the moment double height barn. We want to take the roof off, lower the roof down, make it a bungalow barn. We do not need a double height barn. Lovely, this is a concrete pad with all the wood on it. Mike's new chainsaw that we've saved up for is coming on Thursday because these are big trees. And let's go behind the barn. I won't be able to show you that way because it's into the sun. So let's walk over here and down to the river. Do you remember that time I showed you how overgrown it was down to the river? Well, it's all not overgrown now. Have a look at that. It's all been cleared out by Mr. JCB. Sadly, on the other side here, my finger in the right place. Dump. That's a slow tree, slow berries, and it's all been knocked over, sadly. So I'm going to go down there later on with my basket and strip it of all its slows because it will just die. It's been uprooted. And I'll make some slow jelly and some slow gin for Christmas. And we've got a beautiful view from here into the forest. And just below me here we've got a nice flat bit by the river to sit on. So I'll pan away again up to the forest so we can stitch this together. The boys, the, the boys, the birds. Where did that come from? The birds are very cheerful today and it's all cleared. So we have to now rake and seed, rake and seed. We've gone through 160 euros of grass seed already and we've not scratched the surface. Oh my goodness, but when it's done, it's done. When the grass seed is down, it will hold this earth in place. So, there you go, have a look at that. Oh, the flight path is busy today. Okay. So there we are, garden progress. Mr. JCB is gone, everything is cleared. We had a budget to spend, he was great. We said, we've got X amount of money. What can you do for X amount of money? And he'll do, I'll do as much as I can for X amount of money. But in French, if you know what I mean, French. So he did as, as much as he could for the money, he was brilliant. So we basically hired a man and a JCB to come in here and clear it. We didn't hire a garden architect, we didn't hire a garden designer, we didn't any of that, we just hired him and directed him ourselves. Do this, clear that, move this, move that. He had a specified amount of time and we had him for 20 days, 20 days. We initially wanted him for five, but then we said, keep going. So we've had him for 20 days. So there's my pile of wood again, that's my lovely neighbor over the road. So that's the garden progress. The garden has now gone from a derelict, terrible place. And within our rubbish dump area, we had things like boilers, cars, oil drums, oil tanks, old building, asbestos roof, thousands and thousands of bottles. Sorry, holding it still. And he cleared all that. And a lot of it is buried about five meters deep in the ground because lots of it we couldn't get off site. Nothing has left the site and nothing has come onto the site. So we've done everything, everything stayed on site. So anything that was here is still actually here. Sorry for being in a, a vest top today, but it's warm already. We finished raking. So there's the garden progress. I'll be back another time with some more. Bye for now.